Hello everyone. Welcome to Code is Good. In this video, we'll look into a question that what is the difference between and similarity between a vector and an array list. It is a very popular interview question. So let's check it out that how do we answer these questions. So first, let's see what is the similarity between a vector and an array list. Both vector and array list, they are Java data structures whose underlying implementation is a array based. They both share java.util.list as their abstract data types. Abstract data types are the ones that dictate or command that what are operations their implementation should have. In this case, both of their uh, vector and array list will be governed by the methods that are defined in list. Suppose if list says there should be a method called add, then the both will have to implement this in their own way. Both vector and array list, they grow and shrink dynamically when the number of elements exceeds its capacity. Suppose we have initialized a vector with a size of 10. So on the on exhaust of all these 10, after uh, we'll add elements to this uh, vector, it will grow dynamically. We explicitly don't have to write any code for that. Both of them, they maintain the order of data insertion. So what it means that we, if we have an array list or a vector and over here, if we have inserted one and then two and then five and then zero, so it will maintain the order of insertion. In this case, the very first on top of this array is zero. So it will always be zero and followed by the numbers that we have inserted in the order. Both of them allow null and duplicate values in their list or vector. Suppose uh, we, we can have over here multiple null values, multiple null values or duplicate uh, elements. So all these things are supported by both vector and array list. Let's see what are the differences between a vector and an array list. Coming to vector, vector is synchronized. What it means that all its method, like whenever we are adding an element to a vector, then its method of add is synchronized. That means only one thread can access a and can access the elements uh, for addition into this vector. Whereas in the case of array list, it's not synchronized. That means for a given list, multiple threads can perform their work parallelly, which gives which impacts on their performance. That is why the vector they be, they become slow, and the array list they become fast. They work fast. The array list that becomes faster. So whenever the data grows into the vector or the array list, then as we, we know that its size, it increments dynamically. So in case of vector, the size of the list, size of the underlying array over there, that increments by 100%. Suppose if there were 10 elements, then it will make another 10 added to the existing vector. In case of array list, if it was having 10 elements earlier, then by 50% it will increase. That is, it will add another five number of indexes to the array list. Coming to the traversal, in, in case of traversal, a vector uses both enumeration and iterator. Whereas in case of array list, we can use only an iterator. With the invent of JDK, the vector that got introduced since it's JDK 1.0 version. Whereas 
Catalyst came later to Vector in the version of 1.2. It only came into development because uh, the work of Vector that was slower due to its synchronized feature. So given a scenario that whenever we'll be doing a development, so we will always have to take a call whether to use a vector or an array list. So this has to be decided based on certain scenarios. Uh, one such scenario is that if you have a single threaded case where only one thread is going on adding to a list, then array list is the better choice. Whereas in case of multi-threaded environment where multiple threads are trying to add to a list, then vectors are preferred. If we know the rate at which the data will be added to our underlying array, but not the volume that how, man, how much data will be added, then in that case, we will always use vector because we can initialize it that how much increment rate it should use while doing the dynamic uh, growth of the underlying array. So these were the set of uh, similarities and differences and how to choose between an array list and a vector. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to Code is Good.